Um, I think it's a fine Gwen game. I mean, regardless, we need to pick AP. Uh, we cannot pick set. It's, yeah, I don't play Rumble. Rumble would be good tier too. A solo AP, right? Especially with the Rel. Gwen is all right. It's not the e like the chillest matchup into Nar, but I've played it before. And yeah, then there's Vladimir, I guess. I think Gwen is completely fine, guys. It is a matchup where I'll run Ghost. Uh, we're sidelining against either Yasuo or Nar. So the skill-oriented side laning. Alistar is annoying, but we should be completely fine. Every move you made, I was watching you. I think Akali top is good if you're a good Akali player. I'm not a good Akali player. I think the main problem you have as Akali in top lane is that you kind of don't do anything a top laner wants to do. You don't have good wave clear. You don't have split pushing really. Fine team fighting, but you're you're more so... Uh, yeah, I just don't think assassins work well in top lane in general in the current meta. I like CDR boots a lot on Gwen, if I can. For the first starting item, we have two options. We have either Nash's Tooth or a Rift Maker. I think this component is extremely strong and very chill to get. But the difference between these two items is this gives 90 AP and it gives you 50% attack speed and 20 on hit damage. It also gives you ability haste, but so does this. And it gives you 10 less AP, but it gives you health. So this is good when you need health. This is good when you need attack speed. This feels better as a one item. This feels better as while you're purchasing it. Like the build path here is pretty, pretty shit. Okay, I just get hit for fun. So I probably want this with CDR, but it's probably the best. I want to look for priority if I can, even though it's a range champion, Nar is not the strongest early game champion at all. So I want to see if I can still look for priority and then look to put two points in Q at level three so I can have better poke. Danny knock at the tier one. Hello, I have guys, no I'm idea where my general starting, but we have this ward, so that's good. And my general starting top side, so it's fatting into both, kind of like. I'll also have Q for some presence. Okay, he's not playing with bone plating. I'm going to use bushes to dodge some of his auto attacks opportunities. There he goes, his ward out. Beautiful. I'm trading HP for some priority, but that's completely fine because I'm gonna hit my level two first. And then the HP trade will have made sense. So you see me trading HP for the priority, but again, it makes sense. Not right now. It only makes sense if I'm able to utilize it for the priority. Right there. Right, and so here's a very important lesson. If I never lost some HP to get the priority, I would never get the trade opportunity. But you see, now I'm in a good spot. But what people... Okay, I'm gonna look at I gotta focus here. But you see what people very often do is they they never want to lose that initial bit of HP and so they just don't get priority because they're too scared of that, that some of that HP that they're losing. I could use two points in Q, get a shit ton of damage off. Might even one-shot him. He makes a misstep. Two points in Q, baby. Told you from the start. All because I used my HP for priority. Very important concept. If I never lost a little bit of HP, I would have never gotten the priority, right? That's what I was trying to explain throughout my landing phase there. Just gonna freeze it, not that much I can do about it. Actually, I can. He's mad, oh, he's fuming. As long as I dodge this. Piggies SSS. I have a pig! You just walk with the wave, push it in the first place. I was just too busy. Yeah, think about the fact that I priority cause losing some HP. All I had to do was reset though. So I'll always your grip. I know. I know. He's level five and he's still collecting this. So he's actually adding the XP now. Well done. Will they ban Riven 100%? It's gonna be a fearless tournament, so we're gonna get Riven at least whenever we want to. Hey, they hit the minion to get my run lower. Oh, there's a Yasuo. Man, come on. Just run! Stop, stop sidestepping, just run! What are you doing? Oh, every game, every game. It starts off I, by, by solo killing my opponent and then just... just the Gnar was in an impossible position with his boots and I have to steer two boots. He just gets a mid lane roam and a jungle roam per my hovering. Dude, he just got Tab Tabes is a bit interesting, but Very frustrating. I had a solo kill again and then I end my lane. I mean, I ended by dying to the Gnar, but then I don't even know what just happened, man. He's level 7, so I'm half a level down. And he's very far ahead in gold. He just bought this and 700, so he had 1.7k gold reset. I had 500 gold reset just now. So, yeah, it's tricky now. It's just hard to lane in the 1v1 now. Some good damage. He took some turret shots. 
It chucks his Q out like there, it's not gonna have a Q. Wait, really? I expect him to move with the HP. He's gonna get Mega. At least we stabilized, right? After uh, fell behind. So we haven't followed further behind. That's always the first step. Once you fall behind, don't fall further behind. So we've done that. Now it's just a matter of can we ever get the shutdown? Let's see what amount of items he comes back with this time. Can we just eat forward. That's lucky. That is so lucky, man. I don't know why he just decided to eat forward, but it's just the luck that I need in a game like this right now. Missed. Oh, he got the third out of. Okay, time to back off. We're getting kind of to oblivion here. All good though. I just need the homie to live. No, he's dead. You're dead. I can't help you. My bad. Thought we could one shot him, but nah. He's too tanky and too fast. No, it wasn't enough. <clears throat> Ah, he just linganked here. How did he get there? I guess he walked, I don't know if he walked all the way like this. I just never expected a linganked from that angle. And this game has been a mess. I said I play a clean game, it's not a clean game at all. I was gonna have Triforce for sure, but I'm not sure how much else he is. He's a full fetch and a long sword already. Guys, we are f still uh, all right in the farming department, but again, too many int deaths. He's gotten five plates. He's around mid now with six grubs. Maybe I can retaliate and get this third door. I know that Johnny doesn't have flesh, so Bren without flesh is a very easy target for me as a Gwen. I don't think I can take this. If Nar finds me, I'm dead. So let's not greet for it. We trade this for Dragon, I'm fine with that. Hold next one. I'm not joining a fight anyways. If I keep my demolish, I might get the next third or two. No grubs, but you never know. Okay, it's smart of him. What? <laughs> That's some crazy frog shit. Nice. Still don't have my second point in old, but it's alright. Nice. Did you see my auto attack animation? It was like a little bug there. Run. That's unlucky. Well, this guy's smurfing it. Okay, well, randomly we went from like 1 and 3 to 5 and 5 and 3, so we're in a good position now. We have second item in base, but we have tempo on the map, so we can get this. I just got so many random kills. I even have seven Dark Seal stacks now. So we're still griefing. We're in a good spot now. And again, I'm solo AP, so I'm allowed to build whatever items I want. So I could pretty much go Rabidons here. If I have enough gold for Rabidons, I'll go Rabidons. Like, uh, I need to see uh, a, a large roll, I mean. That's always the tricky part about going Rabidons, right? You're gonna need enough gold for a large roll every time. How many games should I put into review for play putting her to rank? That, I, I don't think I can answer that. That's all personalized, right? I don't know how good you are as a player in general. It's hard to judge that, though. Four. Well done. I mean, right now I can play for tier two turrets. Uh, I don't beat. I mean, I think I actually beat both of them as long as I have my ult. When I have ult, I can beat both of them. Yeah. All right, we play with the dragon fight. My main priority will be Brand because it's the easiest target. And uh, if Rail follows, like I, I can follow up Rail and Gage always pretty much. He just did, probably didn't expect me to go there. Nice. So we found the target. You're dependable, I like that. Who said that shit? Oh no, what a heist, man. Randy of AIDS. Sincerely, enemy team. I went for the wrong one. Oh, he's 
please, 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 please. And I get the tier 2 that they get a fifth. Oh my days, what a game. This Talon kind of went from zero to hero on my eyes, this game. Yeah, I got four Abaddons. If I E, I can't hit anything and he just probably reaches up. That's just an idiot death though. Idiot death, idiot death. <coughs> Oh, she's old. Hey, you know. <laughs> Yo, do we do it, chat? I think it's time, actually. I think it's time for solo AP. We, sh we have to buy the book here. I've heard tills, though. When you buy the book, can't go really wrong, eh? I will not survive that, I think. Kitty. I watch for them. 16. 16! Now we're gonna be full build actually. That's crazy. I was so far behind and then we only have full build. Alright, let's go! 120 AP as well though. I like this. I like it. But I can see why Crit Bloom perhaps is better. You don't really need pen? Yeah, but your ult is still really good, right? The pen is still really good on your ult. It's not just your Q. I do so much damage now. Like I said, nobody has magic resist. That's mine. Alright, please come top to defend me. I want some fun. Please damage. Doosh, doosh. I just sniped him off screen. <laughs> Bro did not see it coming. I want 25. Hey, bitch. Come here, bitch! Let's do 25. Piggy. Yes! Yes! Go full build. Yes, sir. Alright, we're come back. Good game! We stopped anything! Play it well, I told you! I play a good game! That's a feels good Gwen game right there. Pokemon Lulu, and we're kind of full AD again, but Kaisa can go AP, I guess. Not again. This could be an Aurelia game this time around. They have AP damage, AP damage, or AP, AP, but they have a shit ton of magic damage and everything. So this game, Mercs and Wits End are insane. Merc, Wits End, Sterox, Blade Rune King, right? So Blade Rune King, Wits End, Sterox. And I feel like I'll be really, really good as long as I get tenacity. I mean, I can go digital or D Blade. I'll go for the more aggressive D Blade option uh, because I can contest it. Like, Nar can contest me level one, but not much, right? He's a pretty weak early game champion. Uh, so, no, we're gonna go Mercs. We're gonna go Blade Rune King, Wits End, because it's gonna give me tenacity, and then Sterox, which will give me tenacity as well. And then, then we can optimize whatever the game needs. But they have magic damage in all of the champions. Kokmo and Nar still do a shit ton of magic damage. I think with our passive and W. We have a mass position here because what very often happens when your jungle starts an enemy bot side is they're gonna move to their own bot side, right? And so here what I can actually do is perhaps leave a ward on his rep buff. So we know if if it's a full map position. Echo starting here, going here. Because right now we are start like I, there's a very good chance that I will not see my jungler throughout the entire laning phase. That's why I put a defensive ward here. Now I wanna select my Q, because I can actually get prior in this matchup. And if we are full weak sided, which we are very likely to be, I wanna do an early game, uh, early wave crash, so I'm not gonna be vulnerable to any ganks but echo Get my passive i stat check him because of the passive you trade with me all good like i said i want to do an early game crash why so that i'm not forced to be open to ganks by mr echo and so right now all i want to do for my jungler is give more information about the echo I'm gonna make the yeah there is there we see him right he's doing the rep off so now i'm gonna move here i'm gonna make echo's life really hard this game i don't think he's crossed here I landed. My bitch! I'm gonna get zoned. Yeah, it's alright. I tried to W. I tried to W. His W flash came out instant. That is a nice combo by the NAR. If I W, I think I win. I'm sure I win. I'm sure I win if I W. Yeah. All right. My jungle is very far ahead. My mid laner is ahead. I'm behind. It happens, eh? My intentions were good. My gameplay was all right. My W was shit. So, well, my W never came out, so I died. I think I could have outplayed him there. So I don't disagree with my decision to fight him. But also the Nar played it very good. He's lost a full wave, nonetheless. 
So we're pretty, we're pretty much even in terms of XP. Actually, I would say that I'm probably even slightly ahead. Now, all I need to do, guys, is slow push this wave, hard push next. And you see, Volibear has gone from this uh, quadrant to this quadrant. And so it's a map split. Volibear is playing bot side, Echo is playing around the top side. So I have to be perpetually scared of an Echo gank here. So I'm actually already going to pop my potion here because there's a very good chance that Echo is looking to gank me here. So on this wave, I have one drop. Get it to crash, nothing else. I don't want to trade, I don't need to trade. I need to be on the, I'm on the weak side here. My bot lane is already winning. I bait, a lot of it. Quite a lot of it. Oh, Mama Bear. I'm a griefer. I don't deserve anything. I don't deserve anything. I don't deserve anything. I, I had the wave crash. All I had to do was walk away. All I had to do was walk away, Alois. All you had to do was walk away. You legit have AIDS. I knew. I knew it. I knew everything. I said everything. I just couldn't execute it. I got the wave to crash. I wanted to hit him once, so I keep my passive stack up, you know, get it to crash cleanly, but he auto spaced me so well, and I lose a full wave. If I don't do that, he might hold the wave with his body, right? Because he was already kind of holding it, so I don't know. It was tricky. And we died twice. Yeah, I probably would have held it, actually. You guys are right, so... He probably could have held it too. I mean, it is what it is. Yeah. No, you walk out of my room. That kind of mean deserves something though, like... Like, for real, that kind of mean. Just, like, decided to walk away. Nice. Yeah, he's mega run out. He's, you're not gonna be him for like the whole landing phase. Nice. The wave will bounce back now. I'll leave a ward here. And the reason I leave this ward here is because when Nara gets back into lane, he's gonna have two options. So right now, my mindset is if I farm even for the next 1k gold, I will hard win this landing phase. But right now, Nara's actually stronger because he's done a temporarily investment, right? That's how you kind of need to look at items in general. So all I need to do right now is farm even for the next 1k gold. And then once I have Blade Rune King, I'll base TP back. That's where this TP is probably gonna be very handy for. And then, uh, and then then we'll win. But right. W w did you see that sidestep by that melee minion? His better movement than the Nar. On 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 the real. Kind of me earlier too. Kind of getting me annoyed now. It's not even me missing. They're, they're just doing some extremely strange movement. Okay. It's a good poke though. My flesh is. Okay, yeah. My flesh is faster. No, let's go dive. My flesh is faster than Nars because of Cosmic Insight. I'm sorry, bro. It's a solo bolo. You guys are gonna snatch the plates now? I kind of want them myself, but it's okay. It's all you, Volley. Well done. I assume you had no ult. I'm actually landing ease for once on my champion. I will TP back because I don't want to give him the opportunity to push in this wave. Because if he pushes in this wave, it will bounce back into him. And so that he can play again. So I'll actually TP here. Again, if he hard pushes this, the wave will bounce into him. He's not forced to walk up. I can never progress. And this wave, I can. As long as I teleport. I'm gonna E into this bush so it's hidden. Okay. Lucky. Okay. So now we're ahead. My mindset kind of shifts from I don't necessarily need to solo kill this guy to expand my lead. All I need to do is make sure I'm not farming equal resources. So I need to avoid him getting a wave, me getting a wave. Him getting a wave, me getting a wave. As long as I get a wave plus something else. So wave plus a scuttle crap. I'm expanding my lead, right? And I'm always getting stronger. This plate is getting lower HP as well. So I can play for that later too. And then we get a wave plus a plate. And all he's getting is the waves. So as long as I perpetually get something extra onto the wave, I am expanding my lead. And the only way that he ever gets back close to the goal that I have is if I die. Because forcing him to walk up for last, it puts him in a pretty tricky position. Okay, flesh eat. Good reaction. I don't think he has E yet. Yep. Goodbye. Ooh, that was a disgusting E. I think I'm dead, guys. I gotta fight back. No way, right? Holy. I stayed alive for so long because of the W. Still extremely greedy by me though. Not the first time I've done that. And again, this is the only way he gets back into the game. Because now I die, I lose 700 gold to him. Plus solo kill XP. Plus I lose the wave here and he gets like two plates. So one death here isn't just 300 gold. It's like 1.5k gold worth of gold in XP. So this is just a blunder that I should never do. Six drops is just such a blessing, man. Alright, we're very close to our wit set now. He 
cancels the turret so he actually saves my ass. No, he doesn't. What was that? Why did the turret shot fly out like Usain Bolt, by the way? We still get the tier 2. It's just sad that I don't get it. But my Volibear gets Bill Gates here. So it's good. It's still extremely good. Why did the turret shot come out so fast? Like, it wanted me... Like, it didn't want me to see getting that tier 2 turret. He's like, nah, you're disgusting. I really a pig. Double on hit items, baby, and the tenacity. That's all I need. Oh, it was right click, and I flash into right click, so I stay like uh, high DPS, right? That was it. I don't think I did anything special there. I think Aurelia has been very in a very good spot, but uh, you do require to play some more games on Aurelia before, yeah, to really get the the value out of the champion. She needs some, you know. Her stepping stone is pretty pretty hard. And like I said, it's extremely good into their comp because I can itemize really really well. There we go. Mechanics getting a little fresher on my champion. You know, Arela is actually my second most played champion on this account. And the champion we played last game, Gwen, is my second favorite champion. We're gonna RP this and just dip. Because Arelia, one struggle she has is uh, farming. So sorry, playing without a meme wave. You kind of need a meme wave for the champion to be functional. Because uh, I need my passive, right? And if I can't get that, you're pretty weak. Uh, and so in the sideline here, it's very easy to get called off guard. So I'm gonna grab this and then just... Play for the Baron with my team. I have no flesh, I have no ult. Or sorry, I do have ult, what I'm saying. Now we need some armor. As you guys see, I have more than enough damage. So we go this, we go armor. Yeah, we're gonna be good. good. I don't have ult. Flesh is enough. And now we can just do Baron. My team played their maps for position very well. Is it Frozen Heart or Death Sense? I think Frozen are better. It spikes very hard and also they have a... Uh, Attack speed here, attack speed here, attack speed here. So I think uh, Frozen Art is insane value. Yeah, from your educational series, love the videos. Thanks for what you do. I look forward to the future educational videos. I appreciate it, brother. The next champions that I want to do unranked to masses are Mundo, Riven, and Set. And how to climb out of low MMR, I'm thinking to do Trindamer sometime soon. Oh, wait. I mean, I have a shit ton of tenacity. I don't really think they can kill me. I have teleport here. I'm just not sure that this is going to be a good play or not. I gotta get on the Kogma. Okay, I'm just flying everywhere. Uh, it worked out. There we go. That is a perfect opportunity. Route good setup for me. Jace being dead doesn't really matter. I mean, we don't do damage, right? <laughs> we have no minion. Oh, I killed him. Can it's the only mean I'm not allowed to queue there. Boys, that was a good game. Jeez. Yeah, we did a shit ton of tenacity. I had mercs, tenacity in runes, wit sense, and sterox. So I am not CC'd. Yeah, but I had to do that in a game like this. You have to, you have to stack tenacity in a game like this. Yeah.